Now, before we start, we've been debating about this for about two years now. It's either the mouse chin or the moist hen or some sort of variation of the two. I don't know, but I did not take German when I was younger, and we do not have a letter A with two dots in the American alphabet, so we do not pronounce it Lewis. We pronounce it Lowe's, right next to Home Depot and Bed Bath and Beyond. So America, fuck yeah, fake tits, fuck <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to pronounce it correctly. It's a German word, yada yada, special symbols, you know. So let's just call it the mouse chan because that's kind of fitting. Little mouse and hamster tissue. So yeah, there you go. But welcome back, folks. Today we'll do a re-review of the Tier Nine Super Heavy Tank that was introduced two years ago before it was deemed super unbalanced before it got removed from the game from the game like your res folder. Entirely. So funny enough, but originally this vehicle was meant to replace the VK 4502P OSP, since the VK is historically inaccurate in the game. It was meant to have a hundred millimeters max of frontal armor. In the game, it has two hundred millimeters. So yeah, it's not exactly accurate, right? But when this vehicle was introduced. It was OP against lower tiers like tier eights and tier sevens, because it has almost the same armor as the mouse at tier nine, with like five millimeter less side armor and ten millimeter less rear armor. So yeah, that did not work out so well. But it was super slow, like really slow, and therefore inadequate in same tier matchup or higher tier matchup. Against tier tens, so unbalanced, it got removed, and now <laughs> the armor got <laughs> massively nerfed. So spoiler alert, but the armor got nerfed, and the gun got changed. So it's reintroduced as the normal tier nine now. So let's take a look at this new mouse chan and see how well it holds up. So here's a little history about this vehicle yet again. So the mouse chan was originally a redesigned mammut. So original mammuts had only a main caliber gun, like the 150 or 128, but that was, you know, superfluous against lower armor vehicles and infantry. It did not have a coaxial or bow machine gun to protect it against infantry, and does not have a great reload time against low armor targets. So they wanted a short barrel. 75 millimeter, as a coax or as an alternative for a second turret or so. So they added a second turret to the top of the turret, and this vehicle looked super ugly with about four meters of clearance, and that's super high. So Krupp and Porsche redesigned the whole super heavy tank concept for the Mammut, and that became the initial design of the Type 205. Moist hen, or little mouse. So that's the original version of the mouse chan. But after a few tweaking with the gun, after a few tweaking with the ammo supply and the engine and the ammo racks and stuff, they moved the turret into into the back, like the VK 4502P OSP, and that became the mouse. So that's the little history behind this vehicle. But This was basically the after shifting of the turret from the front to the back version of the original Type 205 heavy tank. They called the Mouse Chan, obviously. So frontal armor was different between each different designs, but it was sloped at 40 degrees. Yada yada. Originally, it was meant to have the same gun as the Mammut, so 150, but got changed around. They added the 75 millimeter to the coax, and they wanted better engine power. So here you can see the different engines wanted on this vehicle. So originally it was like 780 horsepower to 1,000 to 1,500. So there were multiple engines for this vehicle. A lot of stuff were changed around. So it was intended to be 100 tons, but more armor. 
was required, so got modified to about 170 tons in the end, and that led to the mouse. So basically, a redesigned Mammut, if you will. So here is the original VK101P Mammut. You already saw this. On Blueprint, it's called the K.3381. Submitted in June 4th of 1942. So this was the Mammut that you know that's going to be introduced at Tier 8. So it meant to be the 100 ton Panzer for the contract. But it got redesigned, so they wanted the 75 and some sort of coax to help with low armor targets and infantry. So they added a second turret to the top, which is basically a modified version. Called it the K3382 Blueprint, made in June 17th of 1942. Basically looking like a KV-4, if you will. So this thing has a clearance of 4 meters. It was clunky, inadequate, so center of mass was, yeah, garbage. So they redesigned the whole vehicle. So Krupp and Porsche redesigned the turret, redesigned the gun and the hull. And that became this new turret right here. So they shifted the vehicle around to give a little bit more room for the weight as well as the engine and the MRX. So here is the new vehicle called the Type 205. So this is the mouse champ prototype. So here is October 5th of 1942, K3384 blueprint, so redesigned from scratch with the requirements from the Mammut, so increased the weight and armor of this vehicle, added the bow machine gun, the coaxial 75, yada yada, so here you can see the coax to help with infantry and low armor targets. So later on they shifted the turret to the back, added the cupola and stuff, and that's the version that we're getting. That's the version that was introduced two years ago and got failed. <laughs> so rear position, the same as the VK's 4502 PSP rear position turrets style. So afterwards, they shift this stuff around a little bit more, change the cupola around. So this was January of 1943. Then they decided to make this version. So originally there was two versions of the modified hull, I believe. So V1 was the one without the turret, yep. But it had the engine, had some sort of ammo rack system, I believe. I'm still trying to recall, but there were two mouses, but there were plans on four more mouses, so six total. But after the introduction or proposed projection of the V2 development, so they were building the V2, then decided the whole project was, you know, abandoned because the war was almost over. So that's basically the mouse in a nutshell. But kind of dragged on there for a little bit. Oh, well. So here is the history between the Mammut to the mouse. And the more you know, right? So here are the in-game models of the mouse chan. So only 128 this time around. They remove the 150. That's right, folks. No more derp gun. <laughs> Dang it. So here is the original HD render of this vehicle. It still had 150, so imagine these pictures without the muzzle brake and a longer barrel, 128. But it's like the mouse, so with the cupola and the four track links or four track tracks on the hull rather than two. So this was the original plan before they reintroduce a better engine with better tracks to help with the maintenance. So, small design details. I can, I mean, I could talk about the mouse for a long time, so don't want to drag on. But here is the 9.9 .9 collision model with the 9.17.1. So originally it has 250 millimeter for the turret front, but that got nerfed to 230. So armor got nerfed. Frontal plate is still, t yeah, 40 degrees sloped of 200 millimeters. So still pretty thick, but. The lower plate gets nerfed by 40 millimeters. So, uh, I mean, it's about 200 millimeter 
effective against AP. So remember, all the values I have here are non-normalized or pre-normalized values. So if you're using AP, reduce the effective armor about 10 to 20 or so. And that's the actual AP rounds penetration effective armor. So as you can see, the frontal plate gets mostly nerfed for the turret as well as the lower plate. The, yeah, the cupola gets buffed. What? It gets buffed by 30 millimeter or so at the front for this little view slit. But, eh. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, originally this vehicle was basically the same armor as the mouse at tier 9. So they had to nerf it. But here are the side shots and the rear armor. So they nerfed the side armor from uh, 180 to 140 now. So... <laughs> I mean, originally when you're playing this vehicle on the 9.9 .9 test server, IS-6 has no way of penetrating you, even with gold shell, <laughs> if you just angle it a little bit. <laughs> he has to fire point blank range into your side armor, flat on, whereas you're derping him for 750. So that was broken so basically they nerfed the side armor dramatically super dramatically turret sides also get super nerfed from 200 millimeter to 160 so rear armor i mean it's about this eh, not really <laughs> 160 to 135 so i mean it's still okay-ish at the rear but eh, it's like a little mouse so Kind of fitting to the name, but it was broken back then. So here are the main stats for the Mouse Chan. It's a tier 9, obviously. Six man crew, two loaders, one radio operator, one driver, one gunner, and one commander. Will cost you 3.598 million credits. Has 2,200 hit points. I think that's the highest of all tier 9 heavy tanks and all vehicles at tier 9. So it has more health than the Type 4 Japanese heavy tank, has a 1,550 horsepower engine, weighs about 170 tons, so the horsepower per ton ratio is only 9.12. I mean, it's like the mouse, so it's not that fast to rev up. But top speed is the same as the mouse and the uh, Mammut, 20 km per hour top speed with reverse at 15, hull traverse and turret traverse are the same so 15 for the turret and 15.6 for the i mean 15 for the hull and 15.6 for the turret terrain resistance ooh, it's 1.726 for hard 1.8 for medium and 2.9 almost for soft this is probably the worst terrain resistance of all the vehicles in the game <laughs> i checked i mean i checked with the tog i checked with the t95 the amx 40 a whole bunch of other heavy tanks like the type 4 type 5 this should be the worst terrain resistance in the game 400 meters of view range radio range is standard crappy camo it's a heavy tank 3.8 percent stationary so hard armor 200 at the front 140 at the sides 135 at the rear, turret armor is 230 at the front, 160 at the sides and rear, so nerfed, then the original, 128mm top gun, carries 50 rounds, fires AP, APCR, and high explosive, and it's like the E75 or VK4502P OSB, so low DPM, derpy gun, takes a long time to reload, but it has a lot better aim time than the VK or the E75. And the accuracy is average, 0.364, that's meh, nah. so meh, but it does have 8 degrees of gun depression with 25 for elevation, and this is a rear mounted turret, so that's quite good, I mean, how much was the Chrysler K6, so that's pretty good for 8 degrees at the front, so pretty decent, but here are the actual raw stats, of this vehicle so take a note of the aim time it's quite fast but mobility is garbo <laughs> super garbo so terrain resistance oh my god 
terrible, highest health of tier 6 vehicles, and the stock grind is not that bad. I mean, 128, so high alpha. It's like, it is the elite gun on the Mammut, so that's pretty decent. But what you really want to know is the difference between the initial version of this vehicle two years ago and the current version in 9.17.1. So here are the difference. Well, the whole armor values got dramatically nerfed on the sides and the rear, and same goes for the turret. So the mantlet gets reduced by 10mm as well, lower plate gets reduced by 40mm, so that sucks. Health gets increased by 200, engine power increased, weight decreased, so horsepower per turn ratio actually increased from previous iteration of this vehicle. Hull traverse gets nerfed, same goes for the turret, view range gets buffed, it was only 370? That was garbage at tier 9 back then, but now it's 400. So they remove the stock 105s as well as the 150. So you get 128s now. But originally this vehicle had the 205s, the 128 top gun currently on this vehicle, as well as a derpy 150. So here are the main stats for the 150, no high explosive anti-tank, otherwise it breaks the game, so it's still pretty derpy and I played around with it, I still have the impression videos, so <laughs> I mean ninja snipe a FE25B183 with this crappy penetration is still funny, but yeah they removed it, <laughs> so they added the 128L50 as a stock gun and they upgraded the stats for the top 128. So they buffed the accuracy dramatically, aim time, slightly better gun depression, and 8 more rounds. But that was it. So take a look at the difference between the armor though. It's a lot different armor. I mean, would you rather have more accuracy and better aim time at the cost of a lot of your armor? <laughs> a lot of your armor. So, I mean, giving tier... 7s and tier 8s, a fighting chance if you will. So here are the final thoughts and opinions about this vehicle. So originally it was leaked early February of 2015, it's been 2 years. It was meant to replace the VK 4502P OSB, tested in June of that year, too OP against lower tiers, too useless against the same tiers, or higher tiers. So, mm. And not that much dramatic change to the original stats other than armor. <laughs> Super armor nerf and the 150 millimeter removal. So strengths are massive HP pool, a lot of health, aim time and gun angles for the rear mounted turret, and a little bit more ammo count than the 34 rounds on the E75, I believe. So that was good, but the horsepower per turn ratio, the hull and turret traverse, the top speed, and the god awful terrain resistance. So still the same as before, mostly. So, very similar to the mouse's mobility stats, but a lot worse terrain resistance, so you will get bogged down, and you better pray it's a city map. So armor wise, the lower frontal plate is nerfed, requires proper hull angling if you want to bounce shots, keep blood fronts buffed, I guess, but it's only for a little slit, so trollish, I guess. It has the highest HP and weight for tier 9 heavy tank, and possibly the worst terrain resistance of any tank in the game, but you can prove me wrong, so good luck. But it should be slightly faster than the initial test version, because the engine buff, but that's not much. Not much at all, but it's going to be slower to turn because the traverse gets nerfed. <laughs> So is it worth it? Well, it's dramatically shadowed by the Mammut at tier 8. I mean, the little mouse was originally good against lower tiers because the armor was insane, but now it doesn't have the armor, still has crappy speed. So, I mean, you do have the view range and the aim time and accuracy to compensate, but that's not much. So you will get flanked. And it doesn't have the terrain resistance to help it circle strafe or counter circle strafe flanking vehicles. So it's like the Emil 1 to the Emil 2 on the 
super test server. So if you watch my mill one and the mill two and cram bomb videos, the mill one was amazing, but the mill two was like meh. Same goes for the cram bomb. So it kind of feels like that deja vu. So the mammoth is super good currently based on stats, but compared to this vehicle, it's just like meh. And it lost 150, so no more derping. <sighs> I mean, you should have this vehicle unlocked automatically if you already researched the mouse from the VK4502P off speed before 9.17.1, but is it really worth it to buy a tier 9 vehicle even though you already have the tier 10 researched? Mm, not really. I would prefer to buy the tier 8 and just play it like a Japanese heavy tank and skip this vehicle because if it had the original armor, I think it would be a little bit better or the 150, either which makes a little bit more dramatic difference, but now it still gets outshadowed, like really shadowed by the Mammoth at tier 8, so who knows, but Leave your comments below, I mean, I did not play enough of the super heavy tanks to justify playing this vehicle, but I thought the OI was OP. A lot of people corrected, a lot of people saw the OI, oh you can just flank it. Well tell that to the tier 4s man, <laughs> tell that to the Hetzers and Matildas, just look at the OI just like oh crap. So I mean, this vehicle might be fun against tier 7s, hell yeah, I mean, Stock Tiger 1 against this vehicle? <laughs> You're gonna get wrecked. Or the Black Prince. Or, let's see, AMX M4? Yeah, <laughs> sure. You could try, but armor is going to be thick. And average penetration of tier 7 is about 2, uh, not close, 170 or so, 180. So, <laughs> I mean, it's a bully yet again for higher, uh, for bottom tiers, but Against higher tiers, yeah, I mean, it's not as effective as the Mammoth, so you'll get trashed on by stuff like the M103 or Conqueror across the map, sniping at your cupola, and you cannot even turn the turret fast enough to wiggle, so who knows, but they may buff it on the test server like what they did to the Emil 1 or Emil 2, so... I mean, they nerfed the crap of the Emil 1, it was too good. 15 degrees of gun depression, and like a lot of armor and speed. They nerfed the crap out of it to like 12 degree of gun depression. So who knows, but check out the test server, it should be live on February 2nd, so in about 2 days from now. But I really wondered, why did it, like, why did they not choose to implement the frontal turret position version of the Type 205? Mouse Chan, because this version of the vehicle looks a lot better, in my honest opinion. I mean, it looks like a gigantic Jumbo Tiger 2, right? But I wanted this version of the Mouse Chan, but they went with the rear turreted version because it looks similar to the mouse, I guess. But let me know what you think. Should you want this version or should you want the older version? The version that's already two years in the two, <laughs> into the game and uh, constantly mispronounce the name so there you go folks the mouse chan <sighs> long time coming i mean it could be stuck in limbo yet again based on the current testing but i don't know it's already proven the japanese heavies so it does not break the game now it's a question of buffing the stats or so but who knows? I mean, uh, more tank to grind, and it's a free tank if you already research, or a free to research tank if you already researched the mouse, so nothing to worry about, I guess, but kind of sucks for those who are stuck on the VK4502A at tier 8 and thought they wanted to get, like, thought they want to get to the mouse, but now it's at the Mammoth line, so yeah, that kind of sucks. But there you go, folks. The Mouse Chan, so... <sighs> can't pronounce the name. I know, hate me. Leave a hateful comment in the comment section below. But can't pronounce though. So America, fuck yeah. We do not pronounce A's with two double dots on top of it. <laughs> Fake tits, fuck yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
Yes, I know, no. 